And hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2. We are still after the demon, or uh, what is his name? The Smelter Demon? I think his name's the Smelter Demon. There's still a lot of summons on this bridge. I think this is where PvP likes to happen a lot. Um, Because you can summon dudes here, but I'm pretty sure it's just to help you out against these. Uh, the red summon signs is when you want to actually challenge somebody. Like if I wanted to summon this guy into my world and fight him, I could. He looks a lot stronger than me, so I don't really want to fight him. Oh, jeez, I forgot about this. <laughs> Uh-oh. I might actually die because I was being stupid. Let's find out, though. That should be fine. There we go. I spent a bunch of souls on life gems, so I'm back up to 30, so I'm not really hurting too much for healing items, but I will be if I keep doing stupid crap like that. So let's lightning spear this guy. That does pretty good damage. Just murder him. These guys still give a lot of freaking souls. It's really good. Man, I almost missed that guy. They kind of back up whenever you smack them. I'm glad I do a lot of damage to them, because if I didn't, these guys would be such a pain. They attack really quick. Whenever I hit him, I seem to do enough damage to just stop him from attacking, which is good. All right, let's just get this guy in case he comes from behind. Come on. Pick up some leggings. Man, they drop armor very often too. Let's see what this guy has. I almost kind of forgot what he even does. We can buy Jester stuff. Uh, we still need to collect the whole set of those stones too. We don't want sorceries. I just want to buy these. There we go. Cheers. Those are really fun. They're a lot of fun in PvP and also um, in co-op. Just dicking around. So if I remember right, there should be two more guys in this room. So I'm going to do one of these. Let's see what happens. I might be able to lure them. Oh, there's one. Alright. Should be another one coming. Aha! I remembered! Uh oh. Hit the wall. You don't want to hit the wall. And I really want to get that, but I'm really afraid to even go in there, so I'm not going to risk it. Pop a life gem. Alright, I remember we lowered that bridge, which will make things easier or harder. I'm not entirely sure which. I want to lure this guy. Oh, jeez. I'm getting shot by that archer. Alright, let's back up out of here. Or let's first let's lure this guy. There's two archers shooting at us. This is not good. I almost ran off the edge there, too. This is not boding well for us right off the bat. Oh, there's two of them now. What happened? I don't know what happened. Alright. Let's get him in here. Let's get him in a corridor. They can attack through one another for some reason. And I'm dead! That's great. I had my ring on, so I lost my life. Protection ring. Screw it. Alright, we're back where we were. Um, this time, I'm going to try and lure this guy out with the arrow. I think this is what I did last time. Let's see if we can get him just run over here. Or do whatever it is he's going to try to do. I don't know. I just walked into that wall for a while. Let's try this again. Get over here. Come on. Come here. Come here. I don't want to get shot by the arrow. I'm just going to try and lure all these guys to me. There's an archer. If you remember, there's an archer on that ledge over there. And they do a lot of damage. And I don't want them to get shots on me while I'm clearing these dudes out. So I'm just going to do this very methodically. How about you come over here? Okay. And now I can get a bead on this guy. If I remember right. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Broke my lock on. Which is frustrating. Oh, 
he got me. But now he's dead. Okay. So that's... I'd say that's about halfway cleared out now. We're gonna heal up. Then we're going to... I think we'll just run across. There's a guy down there. Oh, he chases us. That's what happened before when a guy just came up behind us. So we'll get this. Apparently if you run too far on that bridge, that guy gets aggroed. He hangs out down there. So now we know where that guy comes from. So now we know what to do. Lesson learned. There's a lot of people here to help us fight this demon. Alright, come on. Yeah, take your ball so I can get free hits on you. Thank you. It makes it a lot easier when you can't defend yourself. I mean, for real. Alright, well, let's summon this guy. Well, that's not gonna happen. I don't really care about Luca. Honestly. Do I have another one of these rings, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Or something else I can use? It's really frustrating. I don't have a whole lot of fire protect stuff. We'll summon a couple random dudes. And hopefully they'll let us defeat this boss, because I really want this guy dead. I promised at the end of last episode that we'd murder him. And by golly, that's what I want. So let's go! Alright, my summons are not coming in. Which is fantastic. Alright. Finally got their butts in here so I can get my lightning spurs off. I don't know what took them so damn long. Getting some hits on him. I don't think all my lightning spears are connecting, which is pretty bad. Alright, so now he's gonna light his sword on fire. We're familiar with that move. He's gonna explode. Yep. Run away. Run away. And I'm dead. That's annoying. And he killed that guy. And he almost killed him. <laughs> so there, both of my summons died too. After I died. So this guy's pretty hard. He's just kind of smoking us. I think my, my goal is going to be just to uh, stay alive. Ah, uh, you look prepared. <laughs> so I'm going to use my only fire resist thing. Let's go, guys. This is it. Bash is in here. The other guy's on his way. Hopefully they'll grab aggro. Then I can get my spears in there. Lost one guy already. That doesn't go water for us. This Nova guy looks like he knows what he's doing. So hopefully he'll be okay. He's almost dead. This boss is real hard. <laughs> All right. Sorry if I'm not talking too much. I'm just a little frustrated. Nova seems to know what he's doing. I'm gonna try and just stay back because last time I just got owned when I walked up to him. 
Oh, Nova left. All right, so uh, we're we're screwed. Unless we just take them out now. Nope. <laughs> and we're dead. So fuck that guy, cause he uh, he just left for no apparent reason. Okay, guys. So after dying about six or seven times in that smelter demon guy and losing a lot of souls. I decided, hey, let's look for somewhere else to go. Because I know there's a spot that we went to that we could not progress to, like, through. However, we may be able to do that now. Because there was a statue blocking our way. And one of the items I have allow me to actually take care of that. So let me use one of these small soul, soul items. I'm going to repair my ring that allows me to... Uh, Basically keep my souls when I die, which is actually very, very useful. So let's do that. Be around if you make it back. Do that. We'll equip that. Get rid of that guy. Wear that. Use one of my effigies, because then I'll be alive. Which is useful. And let's go. Um, I believe I have to go this way. If I remember correctly, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. It's part of the adventure. And I think it's through here. Because I believe things betwixt the very beginning of the game is over there. And this is a place I visited kind of when I started the game. But I can never figure out how to get through it. But I have an item called a Fragrant Branch of Yore. And it allows me to unpetrify people. And there just so happens to be someone who is blocking the way here, who seems to be a statue, a petrified person. So let's check this out. I never picked that up. Did I ever talk to this guy? Have you business with me? The way you end up is all blocked up, you see, by this god awful statue. Heavens above! Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? He's got a cool sword. Oof, I'm in quite the pickle now. Oh, that's awesome. There was a character in the first Dark Souls who just... He was in Onion Knight armor and he was huge and he just sat at the steps of this gate that he couldn't get through. Kind of like this. And he would just keep saying, Here I sit in quite a pickle. So I'm glad this guy was kind of a callback. See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough. It starts to look alive. Ah, it just doesn't he seem quite right. There are no craftsmen around these parts. Hey, you don't think a real life person was turned to stone, do you? Could be. See that statue? Ah, All right. Hey, now he's repeating dialogue, which means we can continue. There's a lot of blood here. There's, I think I rem I don't know. I remember this place. I don't know if I ever opened these. Oh, look at this guy. Uh. He uh, seems very excited for me to be here. And let's just leave it at that. Is there another one of these? Yeah, there's another one. Anyone in here? Oh, hello. Oh, you do poison damage. Ain't he adorable? Alright, and here's that statue I was talking about. I don't know if I ever got that on film, because I, I have another character that I'm playing, and I never got through here, but I did see this in that playthrough. And see, I can use a branch. Hey! What's up? How you doing? Just gonna cough at me. <coughs> Thank you. I've been oh, petrified hard to speak. Yeah, I could imagine so. Please. 
You can have exactly one moment. I'm fine. I think... No, no, no. I'm fine. Really, I am. Hmm. Um... My name is Rosabeth. Thank Here you creatures. so much for rescuing me. Oh. oh. You're that traveler. I still yes. haven't thanked you. Well, I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. So perhaps you could consider this my thanks. A prism stone? I was attacked and turned to stone, I think. I owe you my life. If you had not come... Oh, I feel shameful wearing these rags. They're not so bad. They actually look kind of cool. Um, I hate to burst, but... Do you have any clothing that you could spare? Uh... Take anything. Whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Can I just give her nothing? Anything at all will do. Just put it on the ground, and I'll change into it later. Okay. What do I have? Hmm. Can I give you, like, weird stuff? Imported hood. Actually, I don't even want to give you that. That's mine. I don't want to give you stuff. I'll give you all my starting items. There you go. That good. Can I buy stuff? Ooh. A fire defense ring, you say? That seems like... You, oh, see? More freaking fire defense stuff. Okay, well I just had to kind of help her, I think. Oh, she has spells too. Huh. Well, that seems useful. Do you say anything else? I have my very own teacher. His name is Corellian of the Fold, a famed sorcerer in Melfia, our hometown. I was fascinated by sorcery. And so, well, he's so unique, you see. When he set out for Drang Lake, I couldn't let him go alone. But we were separated quite early on, I'm afraid. I'm rather unskilled, and the Lord probably ditched me. But, oddly, I'm a fast learner when it comes to pyromancy. What we're fascinated by, and we're skilled at, are not always the same thing. Oh, why can't I just focus on what I truly enjoy? Oh dear, I shouldn't be so choosy. It's hardly my place. Is Milford the guy I found in that one place? That weird sorcerer who's like hanging up by himself? I don't remember. I'd have to look back. I have my very own teach. His name is I was All right. when he oh, set out. Carillion is his name. Maybe? I don't know. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm very happy for this gift. I kinda wanna see what she looks like. Change into this. I'm heading for Majula. Hmm. I'm not sure where I might find the Lord. But perhaps Majula is my best chance. I don't want to see what she looks like. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? What? Clearing the way was your doing, was it? <laughs> Didn't think you had it in you, pal. Jerk. No, no, no. That's not like it sounds, you know. Sounds like you're a jerk. Pleasant surprise, that's all. Name's Ben Hart. Thanks to you, I can resume my journey. If we share the same path, I'm sure that we are going to meet again. I'll repay my debt to you in battle. I swear it by my sword. Sweet. I assume so I can use him as a long, summon. But I'm here to help. <laughs> I am in your debt. It's a true man who honors his debts and I'll see mine paid. I swear it by my ancient sword. Jester, joy. Let's do it. Where are we here? I don't want point. I want joy. Where's joy? 
Not that. Where is it? I want it. Or do I already have it? Joy. That's pretty good. That's a good one. Alright, I want to see what that lady looks like. Ha! Huh, I found her. Yeah, she's wearing my old stuff. Oh, there you are. I'm here in Medulla, thanks entirely to you. You even were kind enough to clothe me. Thank you so very much. The only thing I can offer is... So what does she sell exactly? Fireball, fire orb, combustion, poison mist, flash sweat, iron flesh. Iron Flesh is a spell that was kind of abused in the first game. You could just tank bosses. It makes you basically unable to move very quickly. But you can absorb so much damage that people would just two-hand a giant sword, stand next to a boss, cast Iron Flesh, and just go to town. I don't know how well that works in this game. They might have fixed that, but I don't know. Looks like our pal Bernhardt left already. So he's finding his way in the world. That's good. Gonna kill these guys just for some souls. Because, you know, you can always use some extra souls. Man, that guy does a huge combo. He dropped a broadsword. Alright, let's pop this open. I hear a monster. It wouldn't surprise me if there's a monster over there. Oh. Hi! I'm getting my shit tossed. And I'm dead. Oh, and there's a uh, curse monster thingy there. A basilisk, I think they're called. So that's a fun trap. I enjoyed that. <laughs> This episode's been nothing but death. I apologize, but this game's a jerk sometimes and I can't really help it. So, there's nothing else you can really do but keep going, you know? Alright, we're back. I switched to my uh, longsword because I think I get quicker attacks off with it. So let's see if we can actually survive this trap because I assume I just have to do this till I live, right? Takes three hits with this, but I attack pretty quickly. I'm going to clear these out because I assume these open when I flip that switch. And, uh, yeah. Let's do this. Oh, this closes. Okay, I see how it works. That closes. Gain some stamina. That was pretty good. Alright, I got my stamina back, and now we can just finish this off. This shouldn't be too bad. Except for this guy. He's gonna try and turn us into stone. But he dies pretty quick. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I'm gonna accidentally close this door, because why not? <laughs> Alright. What have we gotten ourselves into here? Uh, some more doors. Let's look over here. Anyone in here? See, those guys are pretty annoying, but they're not exploding zombies, so it doesn't matter that much. I hate exploding zombies. Does the trap? Zoom. No, that's all right. Ooh, a flask shard. Okay, we get another charge on our SS flask. That's not so bad. We're up to six then. Hey, and a bonfire. All right, so we don't have to go through that trap every time. That's good. That always freaks me out, because he doesn't look dead. Those things on his head are not his eyes, by the way. They have tiny eyes. Those are just... I don't know what they are. They're just there to freak you out. Can I make this jump? I can. There's a guy in here. Hey, buddy. Anything in here? You dropped something. You dropped a flash in. Even though you don't use that. 
What you got? Sack man. Anything cool for me? Oh. Yay! Effigy! I like effigies. Looks like there's two more on that side. Make a jump. And make a jump. Hey, buddy. There's a message. Charging ahead in short visions of death. Oh, look at that. There's a spike in the wall. Can I actually hurt myself on that? That's weird. That is really weird. Why is there a, just a random spike? <laughs> Hello. Room service. Checking for secret walls because why not? I'm gonna check all in there too. That's really weird. Why is there just a spike? That is really strange. All right. Well, let's get going. What do we got out here? A message. A good luck. Poison head, therefore stay calm. My sword's almost dead. I'm gonna switch to my mace. I'm glad I realized that. The shaded woods. I just feel like there's gonna be an ambush. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh, there's another guy right there. Come on, one at a time. Gotcha. Just a light gem. And a soul. Soul items are always good. They're useful. Oh, there's, there's a lot of dudes. There's, there's a guy up there, too. Let's pull him out. No, he's just charging in like a maniac. Gotta play it smart. These guys drop straight up weaponry. That's always good. This one shot him. Yeah, it's a one shot. Is he throwing rocks at me? I'll throw lightning at you. What the hell? I mean, your rocks don't mean shit, bro. That was an item. Revenge! A lockstone. Lockstones are good. They're useful. What else is over here? This place so far is pretty simple. All right, not so good. Oh man, he broke my guard. He hits pretty hard with that. I mean, that's really weird that it doesn't make a, like, when that weapon hits my shield, it makes no sound, which is very strange. It makes me feel like he didn't even hit me. It's kind of weird. I don't know, maybe it's a bug. Try bonfire, therefore left ahead. Left? Oh, down here? Hello. All right. Did I, did I miss the bonfire or is it still, ah, here it is. I hear things. Something's moving. But I'll hit the bonfire, and we'll call it an episode! This has been a horrible, horrible episode, and I apologize for that. I didn't get very far and do very much of anything. Um, died a lot. I did open that pathway. I met Bernhardt, or Benhart, Benhart. Uh, I got that Pyromancer in Majula now, who sells fire defense stuff, so maybe I'll be able to actually survive that uh, smelter demon fight, but who knows. And that guy's really creepy. So I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.